What's up YouTube, Alien Rides here. We've got some new gear for 2021 that we're gonna tell you about. So let's take a look, subscribe and let's ride. All right guys, before we get into the video, I just wanna show you these Shredlights SL1000. These are new, pretty bright lights from Shredlights. Each one is a thousand lumens. They got pretty good battery life too, so. I think we're definitely gonna use them a lot when riding any kind of personal electric vehicle, skateboards, unicycles, scooters, whatever you got, these are super useful. Just wanted to shade these new lights and now we'll get into the video. All right guys, we got a helmet to unbox, but first let's get to this bag by Lazy Rolling. What's in the bag? We've got some protective pads and we've got some new jeans from Lazy Rolling. Wow, look at these. These are pretty cool. I love the color, dark wash. They look just like casual jeans. I could wear them any day, so I think these will become my new riding pants. So we're gonna try these on later. Let's get to the main affair. All right, guys, this is the helmet I've been looking forward to, so let's check it out. It's by AGV. Can't tell what kind it is yet. Let's see what they gave us. Secondary visor, a little smoky. And here is the helmet. There it is. It's an AGV carbon fiber iridium helmet. So it's carbon fiber with an iridium tint. It looks pretty sick. I was looking for something that would kind of reflect and be a little crazy during riding footage. So it should be pretty cool with the drone. I do wish it had a little bit easier to use buckle like those magnetic ones, but I'll make do with it. Let's see if this thing fits or not. Oh yeah, it's good. We've got a lot of pin lock stuff to go through. Let's see what's in this goodie bag. Imagine needing a manual that thick for a helmet. That's intense. More manuals, a sticker, adapter, another manual, and some more parts. One more piece of gear I wanted to go over. This is the Cardo Pack Talk Slim. So this is a communications device um, which you can install into the helmet. I think just into the back there. And then you can talk to all of your buddies on a ride so you can know when there's some obstacle coming or some police chasing you. So that'll be really useful. Let's see what else we got in here. A whole bunch of parts that I'm gonna have to learn how to install. So we'll take a look at this in a bit, but let's just go get this gear on and take it on a ride. All right guys, we're riding around San Francisco with our new gear on. In this video, I'm wearing the following. For the helmet, I've got the AGV Pista we just unboxed. It has the Cardo installed. I'm also wearing some gear from Lazy Rolling. I've got their new pants that we just unboxed and their new reflective jacket. I'm also rocking some Dionese York Air shoes. And finally, the backpack model I'm most known for, the .65 Bobble B. We don't have a lot to talk about today, but let's jump into the alien rate system for the new gear that we're wearing. We've started rating electric vehicles, so why not rate gear as well? We've got a 10 attribute system and we'll rate each piece of gear. Starting with the new lazy rolling pants. Protective level gets a four. These are pretty awesome pants with built-in protection that should help you with the majority of low speed PEV falls. The pads are a bit thin though, and I haven't been in a crash with these yet. This one is more of a guess until we crash. Coverage area gets a five. The pants have pretty standard padding inserts as far as pants go. There's both hip and knee protectors, though I feel like both could be slightly bigger. I also have some concern around the pads staying in place, but the pants are form fitting, so they should hopefully stay in place and make my butt look great. Comfort is a nine. These are super comfortable pants compared to other protective gear setups. 
that you have to strap around your knees. You could probably wear them to work and wear them all day if you needed to. Take the pads out and the comfort level would be a 10. Weight or how light the thing is, is a 7. Great protection for the pound here and it doesn't weigh much more than normal pants. Cool factor is a 6. You can definitely blend in which is really nice, but I'm not sure it's distinctive enough for my tastes. Versatility is an 8. You can wear these pants pretty much anywhere and they're low key. Maybe you could even ride to some business meetings in these pants and look pretty professional. It gets an 8 for looks. I think these pants look pretty good, and they look better than some of my normal jeans. Features is a 6, pretty standard jeans here to be honest, but the feature of looking low key is probably the biggest one. Quality is a 7, they feel like some really well put together pants. Value is an 8, overall I think that these will give excellent value for the price, even better value if you use the Alien Rides coupon code. These pants come in with a total score of 68 points and a solid showing for the first piece of protective gear that we've rated. Now, moving on to the helmet, the AGV Pista GPRR. Protection level gets a 10. This is a serious helmet made by a company who's renowned in the racing world. Battle tested and shown to handle extreme motorcycle crashes, the AGV Pista has enough protection for the most demanding of electric riders. Again, speculative, but I believe that this helmet will serve me well. Coverage area gets a 9. It definitely has good coverage to be such a great helmet, but I think one nitpick I had is that it didn't come far enough down over my jawline as some other helmets do. It could just be word sizing or my weird alien head. It's probably fine for the majority of folks. Comfort gets a seven. I do find the helmet a little bit tight and close to my face, but the pads are modular and can easily be washed and replaced. I'll have to experiment with some different pads in the future to see if I can get the perfect fit. Weight is a three. The AGV Pista is meant to feel weightless at high speeds that we often don't get to on personal electric vehicles. At 3.2 pounds, it's the heaviest helmet that I own, and while not a deal breaker, it's much heavier than other helmets that are geared towards the electric scene. Maybe the answer here is that I just need to go faster. Cool factor is a 10. You've got a badass looking carbon fiber helmet, and one of the most expensive that you can get your hands on. Yeah, it's cool. Versatility is a seven. While you can wear it for pretty much every PEV activity, it might be a bit overkill and heavy. Looks is a 9. I love the carbon fiber, the rear spoiler, and the iridium tint. It all comes together to make a really professional and great looking helmet. For features, it gets an 8. It's got a solid amount of features like the pin lock system and the integrated camelback hydration tube. For this price and level of helmet though, give me something crazy. Give me like some integrated HUDs or built-in communications or something here. Quality comes in at a 10. This is obviously an extremely high quality helmet. Maybe the highest quality piece of protective gear that I own. Value is a seven. Obviously it's an amazing piece of gear, but I'm not sure I can justify the $1,500 price point for it. We've got a total score of 80 for the AGV Pista helmet. An awesome score and I can't wait to ride and make more videos with this helmet. All right guys, that's all we got for this gear video. Just wanted to showcase some of the gear we're using because we always get asked a lot of questions about it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.